Well, there are a lot fewer middle market lenders than there were three years ago. There um, has been a dropout of a number of, of funds who couldn't get permanent or long-term financing. So those of us who are left, um, you know, ourselves included, who have long-term financing, um, and obviously GE, which is very solidly back in the market, as is folks like Golub, Madison Capital, and others who participate in the middle market, as well as, frankly, some of the regional banks, um, you know, Fifth Third, U.S. Bank, Key Bank, who have uh, dedicated shops, leverage finance, as well as sponsor coverage. Um, and we're seeing some of the, the regional banks, SunTrust, as an example, um, uh, the Canadians, RBC, has, has been pretty strong in the middle market. We're seeing some new entrants, NXT Capital, as an example, who's gotten some financing. The question for, for new entrants is, is really cost of capital because the securitization market over the last 18 months obviously has not been there in terms of the arbitrage you need um, in order to do um, relatively low spread middle market deals. For the higher yield transactions, I think some of the new capital that's being raised out there will work, but the question is how long will higher yield deals be out there? We hope for a while, um, but I think we'll have to wait and see.